Welcome to the figure zone. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on the action figure awesomeness. And shipping now from Damn Toys is the Cold Dog Jump Snowman. And BBTS just got these in. The Maestro Union Foray Planet Veteran William. NECA D&D &D Ultimate Zarak and Ultimate Strongheart. And then the last one is Bandai Spirits Bleach SHF Ichigo Kurosaki. If you like saving money on action figures, use my link in the description below. Prepare your wallets. The pre-orders are coming. Mezco, the Exorcist Designer Series Mega Scale Reagan with sound. February of 2024, and she is $98. Now she is 15 inches tall. 11 points of articulation, and she says quotes from the 1973 movie. She looks pretty cool. I like the head sculpt they made there. The teeth look really nice. The eyes look really good. This is a pretty cool mega figure. We have three Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Peg Warmer 6 inch scale holiday edition figures. Quarter four of 2023 and they're $28 each. Now we've got the Purge Trooper and Mouse Droid. A Jawa and Salacious B. Crumb. And an Ewok with a Porg. If you want these, here they are. The Ewok's kind of cool, but the rest, yeah. McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse Batman of Zur N. R. I think I said that right. Black Light Gold Label 7 inch scale figure. Now, this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. October of 2023, and he's 30 bucks. He comes with a spiked bat, a knife, and a stand with two battery operated black lights that attach to it. That is a nice touch. MMM Toys 112 scale Middle Eastern Cabin Diorama versions A and B. Quarter one of 2024, and they are 62 bucks each. Now, both of these are 11.02 inches tall, made of resin and metal. Now, A has two opening doors and a flower pot. B has the one opening door and a flower pot with like a little table for it to go on. Yeah, both of these things look freaking amazing. The detail is super impressive with the weathering they do on these things. With the little chunks of rocks that are falling off and the scratches. These are very well made. They're not too bad. 62 bucks each. That's pretty good. Look at the freaking detail you're getting with these things. Very cool. I love these MMM dioramas. Sega. The quintessential quintuplets. Moving good. Yatsuba Nakano. June of 2024, and she is $39. Now she's 5.9 inches tall. It's got two swabba -ba 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 face plates, extra hands, and also a stand. Big Bad Workshop and Fresh Monkey Fiction. Operation Monster Force, 112 scale. Apophis Legion Rapid Reconnaissance. Unit quarter three of 2024, and he is 37 bucks. Over 20 points of articulation, two head sculpts, extra hands, weapons, accessories, and a stern. Then they have the red nocturnal operations zombie defense loadout accessory set quarter three of 2024 and 22 bucks. Comes with a head sculpt and a bunch of weapons and gear. Both of these things look awesome. This is a zombie troop. Builder, so that's pretty cool. You can get multiples of these guys plus the packs, and you can make a friggin' giant pile of awesome looking zombie troopers. I'll throw some extra blood on some of them, but yeah, those will look awesome in the display. Good Smile Company, Dios Machina Demon Bane Motoroid Model Kit, 
November of 2024 and 52 bucks. Now this thing is 6.7 inches tall. Got some weapons, decals, and gotta have it, instructions. Yeah, those are some big ass shin guards going on there. Looks pretty cool though. I'm digging on them. Bondi Spirits Saint Seiya Myth Cloth EX Libra Revival Version Doko. April of 2024 and $260. Okay, figure is 6.7 inches tall, made of ABS plastic and die cast. It's got some swap up 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 faceplate, some extra hands, a bronze Saint Reborn bronze cloth, optional hands, weapons, cape, Saint Sia chart. And it looks like the armor is removable and can make a crazy looking scale along with the weapons and the accessories. The figure does look cool, but is $260 a bit much? Let me know in the comments below. There's still plenty more left in this video, but if you're enjoying it so far, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any action figure, news, and pre-orders. If you'd like to help support the channel, it won't even cost you a dime. Anytime you guys want to make a purchase or pre-order on Sideshow Collectibles, use my link in the description below. Because this is not a promotional video, I'm not getting paid by any of the companies creating or selling these figures. And if you use the link, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Thanks so much everyone who's used it already. You guys are motherfucking awesome. Kotobukiya, Megami Device, Bullet Knights, Exorcist, Widow, Model Kit, Reissue. Quarter 2 of 2024, and she is $62. Now she's 5.91 inches tall, swap a bubble faceplates, extra hands, removable armor that can be reconfigured to make a Jagunda weapon. And you get a bunch of weapons and accessories and some kind of bemo looking piece dude down there you get decals instructions and also a stand what's cool about these kotobukiya figures is lots of the parts and the accessories and everything are compatible with the other figures in the line so it's pretty cool so you can customize the look of your figure if you want so that's pretty sweet and i see what bemo is doing there bad bemo Three zero bloodshot unleashed one twelve scale fig zero s bloodshot quarter four of twenty twenty three and seventy bucks. Now he is six inches tall, made out of plastic, and he's got some fabric going on too. You got eight hands, a cloak, a katana with scabbard, rifle, machine gun, pistola. You got a shoulder harness, and that's it. Now, he looks freaking awesome. I love the battle war in detail with all the cuts, the scrapes, and the blood. It's even all over his sword. They did a good job on this. I like this one a little bit better than the first one, which is more like the just a basic figure, you know, clean looking. This one is all battle damage and beat to hell. Totally love the figure. I'm hoping 3 0 continues this line and starts doing a lot more other action figures also because we've seen a lot of iron man stuff I'd like to see a lot more stuff maybe they'll get the dc line one day and actually make some pretty cool dc characters too that would be pretty freaking sweet let's see what happens memes may cause laughter Also in the description below, I've got a bunch of links and one from my Facebook group. Join up, a lot of cool people talking about a lot of cool action figures and your plastic crack addiction. It's like a support group. So let me know your thoughts on these figures in the comments below. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to pass on? Who do you want these companies to make next? And if you want to see some more action figure awesomeness, check out the video to the left or the playlist to the right loaded with more news and pre-orders. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next video.